even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Get sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people, who deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou art the God of my strength, why hast thou put me from thee? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresseth me? O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me, and bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy dwelling. That I may go into the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. And upon the harp will I give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, which is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. I confess to God Almighty, the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, the Blessed Michael, the Archangels, the Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and to thee, brother, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I beg, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, the Blessed Michael, the Archangels, O blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, all the saints and thee, brother, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God Almighty, have mercy upon thee, forgive thee thy sins, and bring thee to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, to blessed Mary ever virgin, to blessed Michael the Archangel, to blessed John the Baptist, to the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and to thee, Father, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I beseech Blessed Mary, ever virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, and thee, Father, to pray for me to the Lord our God. O Almighty, have mercy upon me, forgive thee thy sins, and bring thee to everlasting life. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, O God? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The rich also among the people shall make their supplication before thee. She shall be brought unto the king in a raiment of needlework. The virgins of thee, her fellows, shall be brought unto thee with joy and gladness. My heart is indicting of a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made unto the king. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The rich also among the people shall make their supplication before thee. She shall be brought unto the king in a raiment of needlework. The virgins of thee, her fellows, shall be brought unto thee with joy and gladness. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and, and on earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, then takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, for thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and thus forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle for the Feast of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, beginning at verse 10. Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask the sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the heights above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. Full of grace are thy lips, because God hath blessed thee forever. Because of the word of truth, of meekness and righteousness, Thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, incline thine ear, for the king hath pleasure in thy beauty. The rich also among the people shall make their supplication before thee. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. She shall be brought unto the king in a raiment of needlework. The virgins that feed her fellows shall bear her company, and shall be brought unto thee. With joy and gladness shall they be brought, and shall enter into the king's palace. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, 
the very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who stayed by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is the feast of the incarnation of God, the eternal Son. It is therefore the commemoration of the greatest events that ever occurred in human history. For on this day, in the womb of his holy mother, the word was made flesh. On this day, the eternal Son, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, assumed our human nature and took it up into the Godhead. Never in history had such a stupendous event occurred. Never again, however long the world may endure, can so ineffable an event find place. The story of the Incarnation is told simply and beautifully in St. Luke's Gospel. The central figure in it is God the Son, and next to him, in dignity and grace, stands his holy mother Mary. The angel, we are told, came in to her with this salutation, Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. He then went on to announce to her that she was to enjoy the loftiest privilege, which for generations every Jewish woman had loved with a trembling hope in her heart, namely that she was to be the mother of the Messiah. The Blessed Virgin's reply, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man, was meaningless unless we accept the church's teaching that she understood the word of the angel to mean that she was, even in that moment, to conceive in her pure womb him whom, as St. Augustine tells us, she had long before conceived in her heart. The angel, in response to her question, undertook to explain, as far as so infinite a mystery could be explained, in what manner this was to come to pass. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. This was plainly to say that through the miraculous power of the Holy Ghost, Blessed Mary was to conceive and bring forth a son without the interposition of a human father, and that this son was to be called the Lord Jehovah, come in the flesh. But God forces the will of no one, and he was not to force her will. He waited, and all heaven, we may say, waited as on tiptoe for the word of consent from the little Galilean maid, which would make possible the incarnation of the eternal Son. How far the young virgin of Nazareth grasped the significance of this tremendous thing, we have no way of knowing. But she threw herself upon God, yielding her will in perfect trust to him. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. These are the events that are commemorated on this glorious feast, Events in which the divine condescension crowned the lowly virgin with an honor above all else that even God himself could bestow upon her. Events which set in motion the immediate work which was to redeem humanity and reconcile it to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with our spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb.
We offer the holy sacrifice to the praise, honor, and glory of God for all of those on our parish prayer list, those who we mention in the secrecy of our hearts, for an end to this scourge of the coronavirus, for healing for all of those infected with this virus, for wisdom for our leaders, doctors, and scientists who are searching for vaccines and cures, that this may end. And we offer the Holy Eucharist for all the faithful departed in Christ. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at thy hands, to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Establish in our hearts, we beseech thee, O Lord, the mysteries of thy true religion, that we who acknowledge him who was conceived of a virgin to be very God and very man may be saved by the power of his resurrection and be found worthy to attain to everlasting felicity. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Because in the mystery of the Word made flesh, thou hast caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of thy glory in the face of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that, his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, 
our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that, by the merit and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Remember also, O Lord, thy servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the sign of faith and are at rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. And although we are unworthy, through our manifold sins, to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. World without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and with thy spirit. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my 
soul shall be healed. body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee and be thankful. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who didst ordain that thy word should take flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary at the message of an angel, Grant that we, thy suppliants, who believe her to be indeed the Mother of God, may be aided by her intercessions before thee, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Depart in peace. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you, and remain with you always. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. <coughs> 